Shut up and sit down. World-class cannabis seeds. Available online or in stores. Yo, what up OGs? Grow420 Guide here and welcome back to Season 6. In today's video, we're going to be taking our germinated seeds right down here and we're going to be planting them into our solo cups right up here. Before we actually get to the planting of our seeds, I did want to touch on a couple quick things. Now, germinating our cannabis seeds this go-round took us 8 freaking days. That's the longest germination process I have ever gone through. Um... Other than that, we are transplanting into solo cups today. Typically, it's not my favorite thing to plant into right away. I would like to, if I had the possibility of, planting right into their final home of five gallon pots. We didn't have any clean five gallon pots floating around the house today. I didn't feel like cleaning any, and I definitely did not want to transplant into a dirty pot and cross contaminate anything or have any just bacteria sitting around in that older pot. Um, so yeah, we went with solo cups today. Now we got four red ones on the left here and we got five blue ones on the right here. These cups, after week one, are going to be transplanted into their final home of a five gallon pot. Now after that first week of veg, we are going to be separating the cups here. They're all going to stay in this one tent for now. For the first week, the 4x4 tent underneath the G8900 watt LED. After the first week in transplanting, we're going to take our four red cups over here and we're going to move them can't really see it right now over to our 3x5x3x5 by 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 grow tent over here underneath a G8 450 watt LED. Before we get to planting our seeds we're going to take a quick look at our individual strains and see how they did throughout their germination process. So we're first going to take a look at our Azora Haze Feminized and you'll notice two tap roots sitting right over here and then this third seed right over here we haven't seen really nothing going on with it yet so we're going to go ahead and plant it anyways and cross our fingers and hope that she sprouts. Our purple kush seeds actually did the best out of all of our seeds here. You'll notice that one is actually fully sprouted. She's kicked off her seed casing and she is ready to be planted. The other has a nice elongated taproot out of that seed casing there. You might be wondering why her leaves are not green, why they're yellowish slash brown. Now that's because this paper towel here has been covering the seeds. It's been not able to receive light and it's been damp and it's been in a room temperature environment. Now, this taproot, this sproutling here, needs to be planted in the soil ASAP. It needs the soil nutrients, the microbes. It needs water. It needs those minerals. It needs feeding from your nutrient regimen, not necessarily right away. Um, but the most important factor that this little sproutling needs is light. It needs to be able to convert that light energy into its photosynthesis process and bring in some chlorophyll into our starter leaves there. I believe they're pronounced chitlidones. Um, so yeah, our purple kush, doing good, just need to be planted into some soil. Our Jack Herrera auto feminized seeds are doing good, not as good as our Azora haze or our purple kush, but they're coming along. Now you'll notice with the top seed, it is nice and germinated. It could go, its taproot could be a little longer before we, we plant it, but in this case, we're gonna be planting the seed today the seed below it is just cracked open. It's not even really showing its taproot yet. But again, we're going to be planting both seeds today just because we want to start all of our seeds at once. Our ice rec had a 50-50 split. Now you'll notice the top seed has been cracked open and we do have a little bit of a taproot showing there. But the bottom seed has not been cracked open and it's not showing any signs of a taproot. So we have a 50-50 germination with our ice rec there. I am hoping that this bottom seed here does pop um, underneath the soil and we do get a sproutling from her and if we don't then I am going to be germinating some more seeds of the ice rec because I do want to have that comparison of one strain in each tent and running the two different nutrients be between the tents there um, but yeah those are our germinated seeds let's get them into some soil get some water on them and then let them chill underneath our LED light and let them thrive for season six so we're going to begin down here with our Azora Haze. We have all of our cups already pre-labeled out, so we just have to find which cup goes with which seed. So we got our Azora Haze right over here. We're just going to be poking a little bit of a hole there, deep enough to kind of contain the entire taproot. We want that 
the seed casing or the top of the seed to be sitting just underneath soil level there. Just gently cover her up. Don't push down on her or anything. You'll break the taproot and then she's good to go. All you do after that is take some water. Just gently pour some water over her. Now you can pour water or you can mist water. It doesn't really matter. I like to pour some first and then once the soil is a little moist, I'll come back through here and, and just hit them with the spray bottle. You'll notice if you just come in here with dry soil and just blast them with the mister, it, it poofs soil all over the grow tent and it's kind of annoying. So that is why I dump a little water first and then come in through here with the mister, spray her down a little bit. You don't need to get them all too soaked with water, you just want to provide enough moisture for the seed to continue from germinating to now growing. Um, and it needs, of course, water to do so and light to do so. So we have our Azor Haze complete. We're just going to go ahead and put her back over there. And then we got two more to do. So we got these cups right over here. I believe this one's Azor Haze. Yep. Again, just go ahead, poke a little hole. Now this is a seed that didn't have any taproot on it, so I poked a more shallow hole than normal. Let's go ahead, cover up. Go ahead and do this one too. Another shallow hole. Plop her in, cover up, and water time. We are going to start feeding our girls. Um, Probably around the start or the end of week one. It's now the, the start of week one right now, so we're gonna let them chill underneath, uh, or I should say, chill with our regular water for a few days or so. Um, we are not using distilled or reverse osmosis water, we're using regular tap water. So be sure that if you are using tap water, that your city's tap water or whatever tap water you're using is pH balanced. Now, my city's water luckily is balanced at 7.0, which is doable for soil growers, especially in the veg stage. Um, so that's what we're working with now. If you are going to be adding nutrients to your tap water, be aware that there's minerals and there's already a PPM level to this water. So your PPM level after adding nutrients is not going to be exactly what it says on your... Um, I don't know why I just did that. I'm, I'm going way ahead of the, the game here. I'm talking. I'm not concentrated. What's going on here? Okay, so that was the Jack Herrera. We're gonna skip ahead to the Jack Herrera here because um, I, I goofed up. I started pouring water in this one for I don't know what reason. So we're gonna plant the seed that did not have the taproot. All that much showing on the, uh, the Jack Herrera. Um, and back to what I was saying about the water levels and the PPM. Um, just be aware. Be aware that if you're using tap water and nutrients, the PPM levels are not going to be the same that are listed on your feeding regimen. So always kind of undercut your feeding schedule if you're using tap water. So say the feeding regimen wants you to measure out four teaspoons of this nutrient, undercut it to three teaspoons and you should be good to go. Okay, so enough of that confusion. That was a clusterfuck for a second there. We got our second Jack Carrere cup right over here. Go ahead and give her a little poke there. It's another short tap root, so it doesn't need to be a deep hole. A little bit of water, a little bit of love. And these seeds should be popping within the next two to three days. It can take longer than that, but typically it's around two to three days or so. Um, so yeah, the camera battery just died on me. Excuse me if I lost my thought process. Um, so let's see. I think we already watered our Jack Herrera, but we're going to go ahead and water her once more. Rewater these girls because the soil is looking a little dry already, which is crazy. It's not even been but a couple minutes. Oh, god dang it. That was Ice Wreck. We are really messing up today, OGs. Okay. So now that I watered down some ice wreck, let's go ahead and plant some ice wreck. Okay. Little shallow hole. We're going to be popping our ice wreck that um, is showing no signs of progression. 
maybe it'll be lucky that we, we pre-watered our soil. This is going to be good luck for it. It's going to sprout first out of all these plants. I doubt that's going to happen. Let's cross those fingers. Um, ice rack. Finish up there so we don't get confused anymore. We've already... It's been a clusterfuck already. And we haven't even really begun the season yet. That's, that's what's going to be fun about these vlog style seasons is I'm kind of just setting the camera up and we're just going with it. Um, it's going to be a whole lot less cuts and a whole lot less um, post-production with season six, but it's going to be more fun and it's going to show kind of, I don't know, more of what really goes on in the world of growing. It's not just all flowers and, and trichomes, you know? It's a lot of waiting around and dirty work and patience and and the, the fun stuff that's not really shown in, in the growing videos. So we got our purple kush left. We ran out of water. We're going to go fill this back up and then we'll be back to finish up with planting our purple kush. Okay, we're back. We got some more water in our bottle here. Um, I do want to talk about a couple quick things that's off subject really quick. YouTube has been fucking around with me lately and it's been pissing me off. Um, they haven't been letting me upload videos. That's partially why there's not been any uploads on the channel, aside from the eight-day germination um, process that this took. I was still planning on uploading videos, but YouTube has not been letting me upload. So hopefully this video gets uploaded. So we're gonna be planting our purple kush here. A little deeper hole that it's been, uh, ooh, a little too deep of a hole. Oh well, she's already down there. She's gonna have to fight to the surface there. Um, yeah, I, I planned on uploading the, uh, the vlogs, the Northwest vlogs, but YouTube has not been letting me do that. Sorry, OGs, I've been trying, but YouTube's been denying me. I literally sat around for like three days straight, just uploading, after uploading, after uploading, and I was getting nowhere, and it was super frustrating, um, but hopefully, eventually, soon, YouTube will let me upload this video. Um, and yeah, I don't, I don't know what the, the problem is. I think maybe it's because of my 15 minute, um, video length, um, strike thing that's going on. So stupid. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's under 15 minutes and everything, so I really don't know what's going on. So we finished up our planting. It didn't go as smooth as it normally does, I have to say. That was just one hell... Of a, of a season six starter there, almost mixing and matching all these strains up in different cups and getting ahead of ourselves there. Wasn't supposed to be that confusing or even take nearly that long. But, um, but that's it. That's all I got for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment and like. And as always, OGs, smash that subscribe button so you're not missing any of my mess ups in these vlogs and these garden updates to come. Um, we're going to be checking in on these girls tomorrow. I doubt there's going to be any progress at all, but we do have to check up on them, make sure their soil is nice and moist, and um, that's about it. If you guys want to grow out the same seeds I'm growing, check out CropKingSeeds.com, and don't forget to use that coupon code G420-10 to save you 10% at checkout. If you guys want to use the same grow lights I'm using, check out DormGrow.com, and again, use that coupon code G420-G, just G420-G, to save you 6% at checkout. And last but not least, if you need any other type of gardening equipment whatsoever, check out growace.com and once more use that coupon code G420G to save you 5% at checkout. If you guys missed any of that, it's more information in the description below. Peace out, OGs. Day one is officially started and I will see you back here for day two.